Mark from Centerline Systems. Uh, I got Big Spoon here running the camera today, uh, and if he doesn't keep messing with me, we actually might be able to get through this in one hot take. Um, uh, anyway, finally able to get back and start shooting some videos. I don't have to be, you know, messing with 30 million things trying to do it myself. And I figured one of the first videos we would shoot is uh, talking about our new gear strap kit. So if you've been on the website, uh, we have. Uh, a series of gear strap kits now. Now we have three and these new changes or designs, however you want to call it, you know, came about in great part due to you guys, the customers with a lot of special requests and uh, hey, I want to be able to do this. How could I do that? And so I'm, I'm going to skip through uh, a couple different things here on the video because you can read it's on the website you know all the components of each of these kits is listed uh, we've already shot this a couple times and seriously i could spend at least 20 minutes just talking about the enhanced gear strap kit and showing you different ways to use these different straps now obviously you know i'm trying to do it for my company you know the mother the g2 uh, the burrito the scout but in essence these strap kits are designed to give you the end user the ability to enhance the load carrying capacity capacity of any item that you have right now obviously I want you to buy my stuff and use it with my gear but uh, I think the takeaway what we're going to strive for here is just to show you these different strap kits now, I'm really going to focus on the enhanced kit because that really enhances your ability to carry more gear and mount gear together but we're just going to kind of go over the stuff like I said I hope you find this educational and I'm here to tell you uh, I, I won't be able to cover everything and keep this under 20 minutes. I mean, it'll probably be about 15 as it is. So without further ado, we'll jump into it, but I hope this gives you some inspiration and some ideas of your own. So first kit we're going to talk about is the base or correction, the do it yourself kit. And as the name implies, it's a do it yourself kit. So this is for the guys and gals who, you know, they know they've got their own concerns and they got their own configurations and you know, requirements. And so what we just try to do in this do-it-yourself kit is to provide a robust kit, right? So again, all the components are listed on the website, but you get a necklace that has all these plastics on it. And we only use ITW Nexus plastics, the best out there. I guess a little point to say here is just like anything, we're a do-it-yourself shop. You know, it's all, or, you know, handcrafted, you know, in-house shop. Um, built to order that's what i was trying to say not do it yourself but if you've got a request like you know hey instead of having three three of these or two of those can i maybe flip something around all you have to do is reach out to me let me know and, and, and if we can do it we'll do it but so you get one necklace that's got all the plastics on it this is a little bit worth uh, pointing out you get another necklace that has all the webbing on it now i wrap this ahead of time not to be condescending many of you probably already know how to use tri-glides but if this is new to you i wrap all the webbing at the very end i wrap it through the male and female uh, buckles and then i wrap the tri through the tri-glides to give you an example of how you can if you're cutting the webbing how you can secure it using the tri-glides all right so this is the uh, the do-it-yourself kit um, that's one of the three kits we have and then we've got the basic kit so and as the name implies it's in my opinion the basic amount of webbing and sh and cordage you need in order to bring two pieces of, of gear together so whether that's uh, a shelter half a jacket um, a g2 to the mother uh, things of that nature but you get two docking straps these are 28 inches long and then you get four pieces of shock cord now these are 24 inches long and the reason we chose that is not only does it give you a whole lot more shock cord so you can take larger items and, and compress them but it's also a field expedient use unit of measure fold it in half and it's 12 inches fold that in half and it's six inches right you can take this because there's each piece of shock cord comes with two keepers or two cord locks so each piece really makes two shock cords if you want them 12 inches long all right so that's the basic kit now what i really want to focus on is uh is giving you some examples and so showing you some ways that you can use the enhanced kit and all the straps that come in the enhanced kit so the enhanced kit in essence, I'm just going to give you a rundown, then I'm going to show you how, to, how everything works. Is You get the four pieces of shock cord, 24 inches long. Now you get four docking straps. Again, they're all the same 28-inch long docking straps. We've made those a little bit longer now, too, based on some feedback that you want just a, few bit, uh, a little bit more length on those docking straps so you can put some larger items in there. You get two 
uh, they're called split bar buckles, so it's two male, two female. You get one uh, side release, and it's adjustable male, female. You get this uh, female, female strap, which is for connecting the shoulder strap. And again, I'm gonna give examples and show you how to use all this stuff. You get three of these straps, we just call them jump straps, one male and one female on the other end. And then you get this uh, carrying handle connector strap. And again, I'm gonna show you how, uh, some examples of how to use all the stuff starting now. All right, and so uh, Big Spoon hasn't even made fun of me yet. So, all right, first thing, like I mentioned, so you got these uh, 24 inch long pieces of shot cord. So take it, fold it in half, cut it. I you know, definitely recommend using a hot knife. If you don't have that, cut it. Uh, the problem with shot cord, you gotta be careful if you're taking a lighter tooth at the end, it's not quite like 550 cord. The outer mantle can sometimes pull back. So just be a little bit careful when you're doing, it, doing, it, doing that by yourself. But one of the ways you can use it is take a piece of shot cord, run it through anything that's got an eyelet or a grommet on it. In this case, this is a ferrule rod. It would actually unscrew and there's a ferrule rod inside there. But an example of how you would use this and why you might want to use it is so here on the outside of the mother, you know, I've got these retention loops. So I've got my ferrule rod. I run it through that loop. Then I take the shock cord, I come all the way down to the bottom underneath it, tighten it up, and now I've created a dummy cord so I can't lose this ferrule rod. It's not gonna come out unless I actually loosen it up and then bring the shock cord back up and over, and then I can pull up my ferrule rods, right? So there's just one of the many ways you can use it is a retention or a dummy cord device like that. In a previous video, um, I think I shot that about a year, two years ago. I took a piece of shock cord and I run it through the back of the mother, right? Whether it's through the molly, whatever piece of molly. But I run it through here and then I make a loop and I put it to a small carabiner, an S beaner, and then I can connect that loop to one of my belt loops on my pants. What that does is as I'm moving around or if I'm doing some, you know, type of physical activity, it just prevents whatever that piece of gear is. It could be, again, a mother, it could be something else. It just prevents it from sliding around. So that's just one of so many different uses you can get out of the shock cord, all right? So that's the shock cord. Now we're gonna come over here to these docking straps. So you get four of them. Now this, these used to come, and they're a slightly smaller size, but they used to come in the G1 and the G2, right? They're not gonna come that way anymore. Now they're all part of either the basic kit or the enhanced kit. But on the bottom of the mother, you have these channels, right? And what these are designed for is you run a piece of the webbing through the channel, and then now this is just sitting here like this, it's, it's secured to the bottom of the mother. And then now I can take my item. So again, whether that's a tarp, a poncho, a jacket, one of our gear rolls, but then I can secure that, run it back through. And now this is, that item is now secured to the bottom of the mother. And to access it, you know, I'm just hitting the side release buckle. The webbing is strung through there, so it's not going anywhere, so it stays in place. So that's one use of how you can use uh, these docking straps. Same thing, you can see there's a multitude of uses. You could attach something to a rucksack, to a bike frame, to anything else around a tree. But another example, and I'm gonna kind of jump ahead of why you get these side release, adjustable side release buckles, excuse me. Is, so imagine you're making a bed roll, right? So whether it's out of a tarp or a, you know, a blanket or whatever it is, so you know, it's a big U, right? And you've got, it's rolled up and all your materials in there, but there's two open ends. So you could take one of the extra docking straps secured around the end, right? And then tighten it, but you would weave one of the buckles through the webbing, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And now you've got a buckle, male or female end, and you can adjust where that's gonna be on this docking strap. So over here, I've just got another one set up. So as you can see, I open the docking strap all the way. I'm gonna take this piece of free end of the webbing, run it through another buckle, I still got to come all the way back up, run it through the other buckle. So again, now in essence, I've made it, this is all adjustable, right? But this could be here on the other side of my bed roll. And now I can connect both of those ends. So imagine my arms are the bed roll, the ends of the bed roll, but you can see I can adjust this now and I could draw those ends tighter, closer together, let it be farther apart. It just gives you another ability to connect two different straps together and then draw it tight to make it closer or farther apart. You could do the same technique uh, using these things, except not using the side release buckle, but you could use the same technique over on the shoulder strap with a bedroll. So again, this is all about enhancing your carrying capacity or your carrying configurations for the gear. I could take that bedroll, 
run it down my shoulder strap, connect it, connect it, and now when this is over my shoulder, you know, carrying my item, now that bed roll is secured and held in place on my shoulder strap. So just a couple other uses or ways in which you could use the, um, the docking straps and some of these buckles. Now, going to the split bar buckles. So some of you guys might know we used to, we were running our shoulder strap about a year ago. Uh, actually, that's probably about two years ago. We started adding this piece of one inch webbing to the outside of the uh, shoulder strap on the inch and a half webbing. And when we did that, we had a male and a female end on the shoulder strap, and that allowed you to connect them in place. And then in extremis, you could use the shoulder strap as a belt, a sling, wrap it around a tree to hang gear off of. Well, I wanted to come back. In order to do this, I had to go to these split bar buckles. These are still great buckles, ITW Nexus. But I had then, as a result, I had to get rid of this chasm buckle on the mother canteen care. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this chasm buckle. Now it's removable as well, but I just really like it. So I wanted to go back to making these chasm buckles on the mother canteen care. So in order to do that and to still give people, because some people still like these split bars better because they slide up and down the pocket flap. There's a, this, uh, this piece of webbing here. They slide there and by doing that is if it slides all the way to the top and the shoulder straps connected, when you open it up, this piece of the split bar will slide all the way to here and it just gives you a little bit more room, a little bit more access to the pocket itself. Okay, for me, it was a little bit of a trade-off. I really like this chasm buckle and like I said, I wanted to go back to it. But acknowledging that some people will prefer the split bar we've decided to throw a couple of these guys in there and you can still use these in a whole bunch of different configurations. But now going back to the shoulder strap. So once I went back to the chasms, I, ha I had to go back to male, male ends on the shoulder strap. Well, the simple solution to that, because I still want the shoulder strap to be more than just a shoulder strap. I still want you, if you so desire it, to give you the ability to use it as a sling, a belt, you know, in extremis, as I said. So the solution was really simple. We just made a female female strap that connects to the shoulder strap still making it now into one continuous loop you can still adjust the shoulder strap again you could use it as a sling you know I don't have it adjusted tight but you see the point here I could wrap it around a tree I could wrap it around my body adjust it and use it as a belt if I had to an extrem extremis so this strap right here we're just calling it the shoulder strap connector just another one of the straps that come inside of the uh, the enhanced gear strap kit all right let me get some stuff out of the way here now we also have uh, three of these straps. We call them jump straps, right? So it's a male end and a, or a male end and a female end. No jokes, please. All right. So a couple different ways this strap can be used. So the shoulder strap, uh, as you guys probably know, comes in two sizes: a standard size and an extra large. Well, let's just say you're in that in-between zone, and it's winter time, and you're wearing like three, four layers of clothing, and you just want a little bit more, but you don't want the extra long shoulder strap. Well, these jump straps answer that question. Each of these jump straps is about seven inches long. So you can clearly see, I could just connect those into the mother. And then now I've got that much more expansion on my shoulder strap, All right? So that's just one example of how to use these things. You can use them as shoulder strap extensions. Now, what I'm about to show you now, not my original idea. I saw this on Instagram. I thought it was a great idea. And it's just another way to uh, use one of the jump straps. And you get three jump straps with each enhanced kit for exactly this reason. Two for use as shoulder strap extensions, and one to use over here on the bikini strap of the mother canteen care. So, you know, inside of my mother, I've got, you know, a titanium, uh, heavy cover titanium canteen. I got the lid and I got the cup inside here. So here's what I saw on Instagram from this other guy. He likes carrying multiple canteen cups. So that way he can boil water in one canteen cup. He can cook food in the other one. Now, if I take an additional canteen cup and I just put it over the top, of my canteen, and it doesn't matter what kind of canteen it is, Nalgene, Pathfinder, Heavy Cover, Standard USGI. So the bikini strap in and of itself will do the job, right? But as you can see, I don't have a lot of extra room here. So if I was really loaded out in the mother and I had the front pocket full of gear, if I wanted to put a tarp or a jacket up here, I'm pretty much maxed out. Well, the way to solve that is take your bikini, or correction, take your jump strap, connect it, and now you see, I'd have tons of room in here to put 
other items, again, poncho, jacket, tarp, whatever the case is, and I can still tighten that down and secure that other canteen cup up on the top of the mother canteen care. So I just really expanded, just by one strap, I just expanded the load or the, the amount of gear I can carry just in the mother canteen care right there, all right? So that's another way in which you can use um, the uh, jump straps. I'm gonna get these guys off and show you the last strap, which is kind of interesting because I think you guys, like in the span of a month, I had three, maybe four people ask for this same exact strap. Uh, and I was just like, what are you guys spying on me? You know, that's crazy time, right? But so, you know, when you're carrying the mother in an everyday carrying capacity, you know, like taking it with you to work, you know, in your rucksack, whatever the case may be, sometimes that shoulder strap, you know, cause it's big, it just kind of gets in the way. And a lot of people just like, hey, I really, you know, don't use my shoulder strap all that often. And, you know, reaching over to your car seat or reaching inside a rucksack and grabbing it by the top of the canteen or whatever your bottle is in there, is a little bit of a pain in the butt, you know, it, I, I kind of get that. And so in this really short period of time, I had a bunch of people say, hey, can you just make a small strap that connects and it would just be a small carrying handle. And that's what the final strap is. It's exactly that. It's just a carrying handle type of strap. Connects in like the shoulder strap does, but as you can see, so if this is on my car seat or if this is in my rucksack, or if I was just gonna hook this, you know, on a hook on a wall, you know, my mother would be right there by the hook. It wouldn't be all the way down on the bottom, you know, of the ground. It's a real basic little strap, but it is just the perfect size. Your hand gets in there, it doesn't get in the way, you can grab it. Heck, you could actually have a carabiner on your waist. I just thought about this. You could just have a carabiner or some type of S-hook and then you could just hook this on your waist if you wanted to do it that way. It'd bounce around a little bit, but it wouldn't be a big shoulder strap, you know, coming over your shoulder. So it, it's a mess on the table right now, but that's the enhanced gear strap kit. I don't really know how much time this is. Big Spoon's making little funny gestures at me. I won't say what they are. It's inappropriate for YouTube. I don't want to get blocked, uh, but that's kind of my cue that maybe we're getting into that zone. I still feel like I rushed through this. I hope I gave you some examples. I hope it's enough to kind of trigger your, you know, your independent thought and creativity. And you, but you hopefully will see that with this strap kit, your ability to add onto whatever you're using, whatever system, whether it's our canteen carrier, whether it's the burrito or it's some other piece of gear, you now have the ability to, to really be a minimalist, but carry a maximum amount of gear. And that was the whole purpose of this, was to enhance your carrying capacity or the load capacity of whatever piece of gear it is. That way you can take more, you know, what, less is more, more is less, however you wanna say that, but get out in the woods and still have a whole bunch of different setups and carry different gear and, and mix and match and plug and choose as you see fit. So, you know, as always, uh, if you got questions or comments, you know, reach out anytime, phone call, message, uh, you know, email. Uh, just don't call me at four in the morning. You know who you are, who did that? Yeah, so uh, God bless you though, all the same. Um, anyway, yeah, seriously though, reach out anytime. If you got questions, comments, I'll do the best I can to help you out. As always, be good.